quite cool today. We've uh, left the Keppel Islands and uh, we've, we've all been waiting. There's been this army exercise or military exercise where they're bombing the island ahead of us and so none of the sailboats could go sail that direction. And today it officially ended, it's Saturday. And not only that, we have great wind from behind us. So I think there are, I counted 40 boats last night in the Anchorage and probably half of them are out in the water right now sailing north. So it's super fun. We're, we left a little bit behind everyone else. Uh, we've been going about a half an hour and we're starting to catch up some of the boats now which is kind of fun and our buddy salty's left first uh so we'll see if we catch salty's but they're up uh they're about a mile they're about six miles ahead of us so it's kind of fun And the main boat of today's competition is Muttley, which is a 60-footer uh, performance cat, and they're a mile ahead of us. So we'll see if we can catch Muttley. But we're just doing, uh, we're almost dead downwind, so we're, we're taking it a bit easy. We should have done the symmetrical spinnaker, but we're doing the asymmetrical reacher, it's just a little bit easier. We're only going 36 miles. So that's our fun day today. It's cold, but fun, perfect, beautiful, flat water, you know, winds 14 apparent, and we're just zipping along at uh, nine knots. So it's kind of fun. Actually done pretty good today. We passed all the fleet pretty much. A couple boats are motoring ahead of us, but uh, sailed past the big ones we wanted to pass, which is kind of fun. Super calm conditions and it's been really fun. It's looking good out here. This place is crazy. It's, uh, it looks like Maine. It looks like we're in Maine. There's all sorts of evergreens, no palm trees at all, very rocky. I thought, I thought we were going north. It's crazy. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold. But it is an epic sunset. So yesterday was super fun, uh, just sailing up with everybody and uh, getting to this beautiful spot where we came into Pearl Bay. And it's not at all what you expected. It was just, it reminded us of Canada or Maine. There's no palm trees. It's, it's got evergreens on these sort of rocky, uh, rocky islands and the islands are kind of all, all around you. It's just this beautiful, beautiful bay, but not what you're expecting as you go north and you're thinking you're gonna get, you know, warmer and warmer and warmer. But beautiful sunset, beautiful sunrise. Uh, got to meet some of the other sailboats we were out with yesterday. What a fun day. Um, anyway, our, our buddy Salty has left about 30, 40 minutes before, before us, so they're out ahead of us. And we're just kind of going to round this point and uh, head either to the Dukes or the Percy's today. And it's the same thing. There's a whole fleet of boats. All those boats kind of stopped uh, for a couple of hours last night, and then now we're all leaving again. So there's boats ahead of us, boats behind us. Just kind of fun convoy, just going north. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're coming into South Percy Island, had a great day sailing, the wind kind of died. We had to motor the last half, the last quarter, but pulling in, we have no cell connection. And I mistakenly did not download any images, satellite images for this area, and the charts are horrific. So I've never done this before, but I'm gonna actually fly my drone over us to show me where the fringing reef is. 
and then uh, we can anchor a little bit safer. Um, so that's the plan. So I've never done it. It's kind of cool to use a drone for that purpose. It's very nice to have. That time it worked. Thank God. All right. I'm so glad I didn't crash it just now. It almost crashed. It was inches away from plunking into the water. I don't know why I did that. Got, got no images of the beach, of the anchorage. And uh, the book even says it's literally called like a fringing reef beach. Uh, maybe, maybe I have you go up front, but I think this will work actually. I think the drone will get it I can see the reef they want us to go around it's pretty cool actually maybe I'll have you come read the depths to me Elizabeth so I can concentrate on the drone and driving Maximum flying delta two reached. All right, that's as high as it's gonna get this is so cool it's like it's just it's just like having a satellite image but even better you've got your own boat right there on the screen I mean, I can completely see the coral reef and the sand. Very cool. Okay, I'm coming to starboard. I, well, there's a reef to the right and to the left, but straight ahead there's just sand. Perfect. Okay, it should be getting shallower. 35. It's low to going to high. It's about two feet from low. It's perfect. I think this is as close as we want to get. We're at 19.7. This is fine. Let's go to shore. It looks amazing. Okay, let's fly this thing home. All right, that worked. And I didn't wreck it. It's incredible. <laughs> Uh, South Percy Island and uh, it was fun the last two days just sailing with all those boats uh, up north and we had beautiful sailing conditions and uh, we pulled in here trying to hide from the swell it was weird the wind went west and was, you know the predominant trades are from the southeast and so you've got easterly swell coming in with now westerly wind swell so it could be a rolly night but it seems we landed in a pretty good spot thanks to the drone and uh, continuing our, our voyage north try to find the equator. <laughs> As if I am in San Francisco, I have my winter jacket tied around my waist because it could get very cold when that sun goes down. But right now, I have to be honest, it's actually a very pleasant temperature. Man, I just want to get back to the tropics. We know we're being wimps. Probably talking about this in every single video. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. But um, it's just in our minds, we're, we're back in Fiji or we should be, you know, we're north of the Tropic of Capricorn and, you know, we're. <laughs> We're literally talking about wanting slippers at night because your feet get so cold. So that's um, for us living on a boat. Anyway, us weak Californian Americans, uh, we need to try to be a little, little more warm outside. So we'll keep going north. I think we're going to enjoy the with Sundays. Supposedly very beautiful there. That we've actually heard of before. And um, we're going to see some friends there. That'll be fun. And then after that, that's it. Like north until it's hot. So. Which is luck. Not so bad right now. Look at this. Beach to ourselves. Pretty spectacular. We're all over the place. Guys, come see these butterflies. There's so many. Guys, come look. What a welcome. What a welcoming. Reese, Reese. Look at them all, guys. They heard the king of butterflies is coming in. That was pretty cool. And here's our anchorage. West Bay. Look at that beach, the palm trees. Now we're talking. So guys, it's pretty cool. Every visiting sailor can leave a mark. They can, they can get a piece of wood or leave a flag and write their boat name on it and they leave it in that A-frame house there on the beach. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in there and we'll leave something saying uh, Archer and, and you know our names and and we'll leave it there for Archer, Hale, Reese, Pierce. Other Not people to mine. see. Oh, what Jeez. What is it? Tell me about it. Cruisers come here and they leave a memento app to remember themselves by and for others to see. So we're going to go check it out and leave something behind. A beautiful beach. Yeah, it's nice. Okay guys, we got to look for some of our friends. Uh, field trip we've been here. Okay. Sophie, I bet you Sophie might have something here. So we got to look for, there's a lot of signs. We got to look for Sophie and field trip. Wow, how oh, cool. No, but we got to leave something too. This is amazing. Yeah. Okay, eleven. Really? What's the Zigi? That's this crazy name Dad wanted to name our boat. Look, somebody did it. It's a Zigi. It's a good name. It. And this one's cool. Dreamweaver. These people have been here three times. They keep marking the. Oh, year. that's cool. There is. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Careful up there. Watch this. Come on, watch. Ready? It's kind of cool, huh? Gotta find the best one. Who left the best one? That guitar one's pretty cool. Guitar one. <laughs> this whole thing is just, this is the coolest version of this that I've ever seen. This is awesome. How cool is this? It's very cool. Somebody put a COVID mask on this thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and mom, there's a secret passageway if you haven't seen it yet. Look this. Hey, you think that's sturdy? Oh, wow. He just stomps on it. After you. Guess it's sturdy. Um, wow. Canadian hockey stick. Oh, that is not super sturdy. What do you mean? There's, it is not. This is, there is like no coding, code, building code requirements being met here. That's what it is. This is stupid. Pierce, no, Pierce, Pierce. Oh. This is cool. What? We brought a flag to do. We brought our Burgie guys from our yacht club in Cape Cod. There's none of those here, I'll tell you that. We don't have a yacht club though. Yeah, we do. The one you, guys the one did, you the did your sailing, sailing program. Oh, yeah, okay, what are you going to write? I'm going to write a boat name first. You guys find any good spots? We need yeah. the best spot. You guys spot. find a good spot. I found a spot. Look, look, look. I'm right here. I feel more than so in the blue, not on the white, so and do it. Um, you you can't make it too big. This one is the right name. Great job. Oh, I'm gonna do mine special. Right Just do it normal. No, I do it special. Great. All right, we put up our. We all know Burgie, our Yacht Club Burgie, from way back in Osterville, Massachusetts. And uh, hopefully we or the boys come back someday and see it, and maybe some friends of ours will see it when they come this way. It's a very cool thing. There are so many signs, some back from the 70s. Apparently this started in the 40s. Um, just incredible. It's a very cool, very cool cruising spot. So it's crazy, we're anchoring in 10 feet of water, but I have to put out 150 feet of chain to get even close to the scope we need because uh, in a couple of hours, it'll be 30 feet of water, 22 foot tidal swing. It's absolutely crazy. And of course it's wind opposing current. Seems to be the thing in Australia. But beautiful, 
nice, another nice, beautiful spot. Okay. Back on her. Oh yeah. I think that worked. Okay, we're tight. I know. I hate that. Jinx. I need it. All right, we made it. Another beautiful spot. As is our usual tradition, we have uh, anchored and gone for a walk on the beach. This beach isn't as pretty as uh, last night's, but it's still very pretty. Nice to stretch the legs, another good day. Getting north, feels warmer. His name is Steve after Steve Irwin. There he is, give it to him. There he goes. No way. <laughs> oh, you wanna do it too? He was a little skittish. Yeah, so go go up to the edge. When he comes back, you can throw one in. This is the resort pool that, there you go, Reese. There he goes. Oh, we missed him. There you go. There you go, bud. Jump up. Jump up. You can see it. Oh. What was he? Okay, real. Don't move. Here it is. Here it is. There you go. Oh, okay, I wish you would just eat mine. What happened to There's this floating right there. So the caretaker said that they're going to wait for a real high tide and then try to catch him and throw him in the water, get him out of here. But he's been here for two weeks. There he is. Okay, hold it, Reese. He's going to come over to you. Show it to him. There you go. So apparently there was a two meter long shark that's as tall as me in this pool. And they just, just caught it and threw it back. And by the way, this island is for sale. Look how beautiful. Guys, I, he says we're finally in like the resort tropics areas. Like all the bee islands are gonna be kind of palm trees and sand from now on, which we're excited about. But he said that for a cool 20 million Aussie, so that's like only 15 million US, you could buy this place, tear it down and try to fight the officials to build a new resort. By the entire island? You have to buy the whole island and it has an airport. It has an airplane strip. So it's a pretty good deal. Should we do it? All right, we've done it. We made it to Hamo, Hamilton Island, with Sundays. Very excited to be here. It's sunny, it's warm. We're really hoping that this is the new trend. But uh, Elizabeth's doing TRX. Boys are wrestling, we're going nine knots. You know, that's how it goes as we arrive at a new landfall. Look how pretty this place looks. We're excited for a restaurant, excited for a meal out, and uh, just kind of relaxing a little bit. We got some friends coming here, it's gonna be fun. Uh, just all in all, this has kind of been our goal to get up here and, and check things out and chill here for a little bit. So we'll be here for a couple of weeks. Right now, Hamilton Island. Here we come. He wants some bread. Oh. If he was, if he wasn't so so cool looking, I'd say no. But <laughs> come on, look at this. <laughs> what? That's wild. What do you think? Oh. All right, happy girl. Hi. <laughs> okay. This is my kind of cruising. Um, this is a resort that encourages cruisers to crush it. I love it. Why do they do that? Well, so um, Seth can probably explain this better, but the man who bought this island and set it all up, Hamilton Island in the Whitsundays, Australia, uh, was a sailor himself. So he set up, he's built this massive marina. It's okay. Oh, hey, right. yeah. Okay, so you were so rudely interrupted. I like how you own that moment. You're like, oh, we're just vlogging. Sorry about that. <laughs> Money. Another uh, interruption. Yeah. Alright, what do you think of this place so far? It's really cool. Yeah? Can we do the Hobie Cats? Are they money? I don't know. We can go sailing. Yeah, it looks cool. The Hobie Cats. Hobie Cats. It'd be fun. They are really fun. Yeah. Actually, it is a pretty cool place. So, uh, Robert Oatley set this place up and he is a sailor. He uh, He's a famous sailor. He sails a boat, Wild Oats. It's won all sorts of crazy races, especially here in Australia. I mean, 
he bought this island and I think the island next to it and built this whole thing and uh, obviously it's cruiser friendly so it's a pretty slick setup it's a pretty amazing deal for sailors to come in the marina and then you can use all the pools and the toys and, and just walk all around the island so we're going to enjoy ourselves here for a little bit and uh, then explore the rest of the wood Sundays pretty slick He's, she's very happy. She wants to go shopping. I went, oh, yeah. I'm going to walk you guys through the shops, too. Sure. Trouble. So here we are in Hamilton Island, and I've got my manservant with me. <laughs> oh, really? That's Bringing right. back the grocery I stock. Sure pack. It's, um, they've got an IGA. It's small, but they've got, you know, they've got enough to get through a couple of days for us. <laughs> and then we're going to go to Arley and do, like, a bigger shop. But this place is amazing. Coolest shops. Fun marina, fun happy restaurants. Way. So we're happy. Okay, birthday boy. Whose birthday can come is up. it? Whoa. Here. Four characters, actually. Four characters. We advised this one's, um, this guy I suggest you'd like the most. Because, because he's a knight he's a Lord and Castle, a wizard. A knight wizard? Yeah, That's who I wanted! Yeah, I know. Nice Lego set. Oh my god, this is heavy. Well, you're our Lego kid. <laughs> uh, don't kill yourself. I'm gonna kill myself with this thing. Do you remember all the details of it? Yes, every single one. You do? Yes. next month when our channel returns. In 2022, you'll see the McConnells come back to visit and we explore Australia's most famous cruising ground, the Whitsundays, including a risky visit up the hill inlet. You're not going to want to miss it, so see you then. <laughs>